The Idlib area hasn't escaped the ravages of the Syrian war. But when Turkey and Russia recently agreed to set up a demilitarized zone there, it was called a breakthrough that had averted a much larger humanitarian catastrophe. Once again, we are in agreement with Mr. Putin on resolving the Idlib problem in compliance with the spirit of the Astana agreement. As a result, we have decided to form a demilitarized zone between the opposition and areas under the control of the regime. The agreement came about through what's called the Astana process, a series of meetings between Turkey, Russia and Iran. It started back in January 2017 to try to find a way to end the war in Syria and ran parallel to the UN's efforts in Geneva. That resulted in de-escalation zones being set up, although only one now remains, the one in Idlib, patrolled by Turkey. It's also resulted in attempts to form a committee to draw up a new constitution in Syria. And now this latest summit on Saturday involving Turkey, Russia, France and Germany, all of which Turkey believes wouldn't have happened without the Astana process. The process is more limited and most uh, powerful actors in Syria are involved so that it was better to find a solution. And besides, Astana process is much more uh, focused on the military developments on the ground. You know, in order to have a political solution first, there should be some kind of stability. Astana has certainly brought together the Assad regime's main backers, Russia and Iran, with one of the main supporters of the opposition, Turkey. After several years of Geneva talks failed to make much headway, the challenge now is to make all these agreements stick, to see if the fighting can really be stopped and a political solution started. The meeting in Istanbul could be a major step towards that goal. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.